Hi, Yan. Hi, CJ. Hi. It's truly an honor to chat with you today.、Uh, I first heard your name when I joined the Shanghai Ballet School.、Um, you were one of the legendary examples to the school and to us students.、Um, I still clearly remember、uh, when I first saw your performance in Shanghai、mm -hmm. back in 2000,、uh, when ABT went on tour in China.、Um, I was so inspired by your performance, especially as a Chinese ballerina.、Oh, thank you.、Um, yeah. Since then, I said to myself, "I want to be just like you."、Oh. Um, yes, like、thank、little.、You. I, I never share that, but、um, I still remember the day that when I saw your performance, I just so impressed and just so like full of hope after that performance.、Um, so kind. <laughs> and looking back, twenty years later, twenty years already. Say,、oh. Yes. <laughs> I want to say thank you for giving that image and inspiration to me as a young dancer, in order to have the courage to become a ballerina dancing with the mo world's most prestigious ballet company, ABT. Oh, thank you.、Um, okay. Yeah. So today, I would like to ask you,、uh, what was it like growing up in China, and how were you introduced to ballet? Well. When I、uh, grew up in China, that was in the you know six six seventies and eighties, and when I、um, first started ballet was because in Shanghai at the time, just you know the school was in, looking for students, and this time the student they only looking for student every six seven years. When the one group is graduated, then they're looking for the whole new crop of students. So I was just. Age of eleven, and was just meet the quartier age quartiers, and、uh, um, I went to audition. And those days, because of government support, and they only、yeah. select very elite students to be in the school. But they are out of thousands kids to try to you know participate for the auditions. And I was very very lucky and fortunate to be one of the students being selected to the school.、Um, it was、uh, it was very it was very strict. And as you all know, strict and a great、um, uh, learning training、um, process, and、uh, um, it was we learned a lot. You know, it's a very、um, we learn a lot of basic skills and、uh, mm -hmm. being very strict training. And I really appreciate that because because that time really builds my foundation to become who I am in the future. And I'm always internally grateful for that. But、um, yeah, that's,、uh, that's, that's amazing. Was, it was a long time ago. Seems a long time. Seems <laughs> a long time. But、I、often remember, you know, those days. It was hard days. I mean, it was hardship. Very difficult days. You know, we don't、yeah. have air conditioner. We don't have a heater. I mean, we do have a heater, but the heater only comes on in a certain hit a certain degrees. You、mm -hmm. know, temperature. That's where you turn the heat on. So it was a very tough life. But that has built a character. Survival, you know? amazing, yeah. Yeah. amazing story.、Um, yeah.、Um, so, what was your experience like when you first came to America, and what was it like joining ABT? Well, yes.、Um, the first kind of time when I came to America, it was a、um, because in the nineteen eighties. Five eighty six, Shanghai and San Francisco was just was um China China was just open up to the West,、mm -hmm. and、uh, Shanghai and San Francisco are sister cities, so they have those exchange program between the two cities, and、uh, um so at a time the San Francisco Ballet would like to have a two students to study in San Francisco Ballet School for a year, and I was、uh, again I was a lucky. Lucky one, child, <laughs> to be、um, going to San Francisco study in 1986. Wow! And it was my first time come to the West. It's I. I was you know unbelievable. I was、mm -hmm. just、um, the studios and the, the teachers, just the life in general. It's just so different. Yeah. And I was like a hungry child. I want to eat everything. I want to learn everything, absorbing because.、Um, Just opened my eyes, 
mm-hmm. the way the way people thinking, the yeah. way people process, the way they in class they conduct themselves in class, the teacher, the way the teacher conduct themselves in class. It's just very different to what I used to, you know, what I used to be. And it was very refreshing and uh, eye-opening for me. It was just, I, I loved every minute of it. I loved it. And uh, um, and I think that's really built my foundation. You know, I want, I realized, you know, I wanted to dance in America. Wow. That's amazing. And, um, and ABT, it's, that's where I, um, I was very lucky. I was staying with American family. Mm-hmm. She and uh, um, she's a big ballet fan. She's just such a lovely family. Oh, just are we still keep in contact? Uh-huh. You know, so she would uh, bring by me. You know, bring all those uh, video at the time, just video VHS. Would uh, bring yeah. all those um, ballet um, videos, and I was watching and the ABT <laughs> Dumb Q with Cynthia uh-huh. Harvey and um, Brushnikov. It would oh. just blow my mind. Blow my mm-hmm. mind, and I see Alexandra Ferris, um, the uh, uh, Romeo and Juliet with the Royal Ballet, mm-hmm. Emma Carovas Royal Ballet with Anthony Dow in uh, the Swan Lake. It just it's a different different level, you know, and uh, um, that's really inspired me. I want to dance in America, and of course, ABT is always one of my dream company. Yeah, and, yeah, and when I find. I went to Washington Ballet was the first time when the Washington Ballet for five years, which it's it was ex- incredible experience dancing in America in the company in the you know ballet company in the U.S. Learned so much from them and uh, um, when I went to ABT is already you know I had an American company experience so it was an easy transition. Although still they're in a diff- very different way because ABT is a much larger company. They have different ranks of yeah. the, um, dancers. I have to adjust. But, uh, um, you know, it was, I think it was, if, you know, it was different. I have to adjust. But yes. I think if you know who you are, that's it. If you know who you are, you'll make the situation works work for you, whatever it is. And um, everybody was very embraced me of me, and uh, I. That's I so it. impressive, and um, for you, still at a very young age to find yourself knowing who you are, um, and that's coming with my next question. Um, you know, what was the company like at your time, and how did you adjust to everything, especially being one of only a few Asian dancers? Yes, that at a time when I joined the company, I think I was, uh, I would say I was a, only one or two, I can't mm-hmm. remember, very, as you said, very, very few when I joined the company, one or two Asian uh, uh, ballet dancers in the company. It uh, was, um, but, but they already had, um, they had an Asian dancer previously, of course. But I think when I was joined at them, they all either retired or move on to a different company. So, but it was because I think ballet is a universal language. You know, you, you, even though sometimes my English to this day, my English is not that great, <laughs> but, um, but we communicating with our motion, with our movement and with our feelings, which makes it much easier to, to be connected with the dancers, with everybody else. And, uh, um, and as I said, if you know who you are, you stand true to yourself. And even maybe there's some difficult situation arise, you overcome that. Mm-hmm. And because you believe in yourself, what do what you, you know, and who you are, and you're presenting, being honest, that's who you are. And, uh, um, but uh, it was, um, it, it was, it was, you know, I, I'd never felt any pressures or anything. Everybody was very, very generous, very welcoming to me. And, uh, um, in that sense, I was very lucky. And, uh, and we, I was, you know, being danced a lot of, giving lots and lots of opportunities Mm-hmm. being able to uh, do what I love no it was just uh, an incredible experience yeah but as I said um, it's in any in a big company there's always situation happens and uh, um, you have to figure it out yourself and overcome that work it out yeah be true to yourself 
Mm-hmm. That's so beautiful. So, you know, as one of the only Chinese ballerina, um, of course, even though you have all the support systems and safe spaces and communities with ABT, um, besides dancing with the company, um, as for your heritage, um, are are there's any encouragement or um, people outside of the company at the time to support you? And um, how did you survive? Um, and uh, I know you you know yourself so well, um, but how did you? find that connection uh, within, without, uh, within the company and with outside of the company? Um, I think it was, um, I do, you, I have a few Chinese friends outside of a ballet company. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, um, I also, Glad, and also I had a very, very dear friend in the company, Gladys, who's Filipino. She is just so sweet and so generous with me. And I really had a lot of support from her. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, to, you know, being feel close to her because she's been in the company for many, many years. And she is, and she's Asian. And uh, um, yeah, I, I, I never felt alone. You know, she's always there for me and go, you know, it was, it was really good. And I also have a friend, again, I have a lot of friends outside of a, a ballet company and they give me support and feel me feel like I'm at home, even though I'm in the U.S., but I still had a Chinese and traditions that feel the um, sense of uh, closeness even mm-hmm. though I'm not in China and we, you, we normally would have gathered together having Chinese uh, uh, food or Chinese, uh, uh, um, you know, parties and just just make me feel very comfortable. Um, it's just, uh, I think we have in being China, we have a thousand years history. You know, yeah. we are a very, we have a very, very rich um, background. Yeah. And I think it's, and there's, of course, there's a lot of difference between our traditions and with the western traditions there's big difference but we all human we all here we are here together to learn from each other you know and make the world better make everybody better and we have to be open mind you know i think i have to be open mind to understand the western culture and i think the same thing for the western they have to open their mind and uh, learn from our culture and be accept who we are and that's how our community could be more safe and more united and be more loving. And you have been just try to reach out to learn more, you know, because not because something that what they do is not what I used to bring up, but, but not necessarily bad. You, if you learn from them and you understand why they do this and you can say, oh, okay, that's why, oh, I got it now. I understand. Yeah, that's it. I want to do that. Or that's, I, that's how I feel. So beautiful. And uh, I s- always love when you come to New York City, you always take me out and mm-hmm. you always gave me that, um, you know, connection mm-hmm. that coming from China, even though you've been in the U.S. for so many years, you still give me that comfort and mm-hmm. connection. Um, it, just so amazing. You're such an amazing person. I love you. You are you're so <laughs> smart, so beautiful, so kind. Who wouldn't <laughs> want to take it out? Who wouldn't want to be with you? <laughs> Thank you. I have a um, very curious question that, do you cook Chinese food? Yes, um, I do. I'm not a very good cook in general. <laughs> I'm going to try. But, you know, all my children love Chinese food. And uh, um, I cook a uh, very basic because Chinese food is almost like art. You know, there's a lot of preparation and I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not very good. but I cook a very basic, you know, stir fried ch- uh, vegetables and teriyaki, not teriyaki chicken. You know, uh, <laughs> that's um, the soy sauce. Yes. <laughs> a lot of sesame oils. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. They. Uh, my children loves it. and all the my children's friends. They come to my to the house. They all they love my Chinese cooking. A lot of dumplings. 
and uh, yeah <laughs> no we love them it's just yeah they my everything what they do they just all oh, my kids whatever they do eating they're always dabbing some soy sauce <laughs> even <laughs> the rice dabbing soy sauce with a salmon just grill the salmon they would put soy sauce on it <laughs> it's quite cute when it comes to um you're talking about your kids mm -hmm. so what's very special in your case that um your daughter Kuri is now dancing for the same company some 30 years later um so what does that feel like and what's the similarities uh and what are the differences um do you mind uh, sharing some of the advice that you gave her? Sure. Yeah, I am. I'm just so proud. I'm so happy that she's in a, one of the best company in the world, and uh, um, just super, super happy. But I know it's about it's a long road and it's a difficult road, and and she's still very young, and I want her to be prepared, to be ready, and uh, um, whenever. Again, like whenever problem arise, you be true to yourself and uh, 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 work towards your goal, whatever her goal is, and she needs to work. And to me, that's for everything. Uh, like for every dancers, you have to work hard. You have to have your own craft. And uh, when you have your craft, you have your own. You 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 have. The, this is yours. Nobody yeah. can take away from you. So whatever situation it is. And you have your own your craft. You can, you know, you 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 feel you have to be very secure. You this is the security. You can do whatever. And but having the craft coming from the hard worker, you have to work for it. It doesn't just fall on your lap. You have to work hard. But in order to work hard, you have to have a passion. You know, mm -hmm. because you have the passion, then you are willing to spend the time in the studio to to master, to work on it. And when you work on it and your craft will get better and when you have a good craft and then everything's there for you. So mm -hmm. uh, I just uh, um, I wanted her to find uh, having the passion to, to the love for the ballet. And uh, um, she, it's her, her journey and uh, um, I'm very proud of her. And I, uh, you know, one, just, just take a day to, one day at a time and enjoy what she's having the great opportunities. Um, we are very different dancers. She's very tall, <laughs> <laughs> tall, and uh, I'm 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 very strong. You know, she's doesn't does her uh, we different. So it's it's um it's it's okay, and uh, that's why we we have those so many different type of dancers, different dancer, and uh, um, but um, ultimately she has to work hard and uh, she needs to do whatever she needs to do to to pursue her dream. And uh, I I have to just stay stay back and watch. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, yeah, at the same time, um, I also would like to ask you, um, what what would you like to say to the younger dancers today, especially the ones who are coming from Asia uh, or overseas? Um, again, follow your dream and have passion. Mm -hmm. Have the love for what you do and uh, um, stay true to yourself and work hard. The, the, the world is, is endless. The opportunity is endless. Mm -hmm. And you have to grab it. Yeah. You know, they're not waiting for you. You mm -hmm. don't have to go get it. Mm -hmm. And um, be positive. Mm -hmm. Be positive and uh, be um, with open mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, opportunities, it's there. I mean, I always say there's uh, timing is very important. Yes. Definitely, time is very important, but you also have to be positive and uh, learn your, you know, learn your, learn your craft. And uh, um, one door's closed, other door's opening. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that. Be positive. And to me, be positive. Yes. That, that's every day of the vibes. There's always going to be disappointment. There's going to be always rejections. There's always... There's so many, and it's through life, not just in ballet. There's 
other things in just in life, in marriage, in yeah. the family. And it is just going to be endless. But how are you going to be conquer that going to the next step? You, the mind. Mm. It's very important. The mind is so powerful. Absolutely. 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 Mm -hmm. The strength of the mind. That's so beautiful. And thank you so much, Yen, for having me today. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing uh, to always talking with you. Thank um, you for having me. And I want to see you and a baby and Doug. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> He's such a sweet, your husband's so sweet. He is, oh. he's a sweetie. Yeah, oh. he's the best. No. To have a support, um, some, someone who can just truly support you is just so Absolutely. incredible, uh, such a blessing. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And enjoy your um, mother life. And uh, she's just so adorable. But thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Love you so much. You're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank and you. you. Love you too.